Over the course of this week, we've seen the overall severe weather threat continue to be pushed south and east, as the pest from the west brought in gusty winds, rain, and lower temperatures for a large portion of Europe. But now as the jet stream starts to lift back towards the north, we're going to see warmer and more unstable air come back into the picture, reintroducing the risk of strong to severe storms. Today's date is July 5th, 2024, and this is what things are looking like in the afternoon. Thunderstorms have been developing across Russia for several hours, and we're going to continue to see that throughout the day. For those of you in Northern Europe, multiple disturbances from the Atlantic continue to be the source of cool and cloudy weather, while areas further south have partly cloudy skies. The severe weather threat for today will be high in Russia, especially where I've placed a level 3. Very high cape values suggest a very volatile environment across this portion of Russia, so watch out for damaging wind gusts and large hail in the strongest storms. A level 2 is in place for Spain due to a chance of scattered severe storms, capable of some large hail and strong wind gusts, and the same is true for the other risk areas, with a greater chance in the level 2. Heavy rainfall is likely today, especially within the areas I've highlighted. This will include parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia, Turkey, and southern England. A place I would watch extra closely today into tonight is in Norway, where a level 2 risk is in place. One of the Atlantic low pressure systems will meander over this region through late tonight, and model guidance suggests a corridor of heavy rainfall streaming on shore. This may result in as much as 50 millimeters of rain over the next 24 hours. Heading into Saturday, another episode of severe weather is likely way off into Russia, as you can see here, extending down to Turkey once again. For the rest of Europe, an Atlantic system will spark storms from Spain all the way to Central Europe, with the best chance for storms reaching severe criteria from southern Germany to Spain's Mediterranean coast. I'd like to point out that the low pressure system itself is actually quite strong. As of today, Friday, July 5th, it's hard to tell where it is, but here's a clue. Remember that level 1 excessive rainfall risk I placed for southern England? Well, it's because of that same system, just in a much less organized form. As we push this forward into tonight, we can see heavy rain spreading across the United Kingdom as the associated cold front enters France. During the day on Saturday, we're going to see this system really intensify, especially after the center of low pressure emerges over the North Sea. Notice how the wind gusts progressively become stronger throughout the day on Saturday with a region of even stronger wind right around the center of low pressure, impacting coastal areas of Denmark and Sweden by the evening. This Atlantic system will probably bring some heavy rainfall over parts of the UK, southern Scandinavia, and from Spain to Czechia. Additionally, heavy thunderstorms in Russia and Turkey could lead to some isolated flood concerns, so I've placed a level 1 over those areas. Now for Sunday, I'll be watching for storms along a cold front from Italy to the Baltic countries, but I honestly don't expect the risk of severe weather to be that high. Eastern Turkey up into southern Russia will remain under a risk of storms, and lastly, parts of the UK and Ireland may see some heavy downpours and thunderstorms. Even though the severe weather potential will be low, I would still be aware of some heavy rain from the Alps to the Nordic countries, and once again over parts of the UK. If you would like to get more consistent weather forecasts just like this one, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.